Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruel cool YouTuber that is trying to be a long no-buy. And today I am here with what I hope is going to be a fun video. I have no idea. But I have done... This was so long ago. This was... I saw a video from Annette's Makeup Corner. This was maybe... Three years ago. Can it be that? Where she did like my perfect <laughs> palette. So she talked about like all her Eva's Place palettes and took her favorite shade of each of the palettes and like got her favorite Eva's Place palette. And I did one of these as well. I think I did one with Eva's Place. I don't know if I did any more. But I want to do that again, but now I want to do like the real thing. So I have picked out all my Menagerie palettes. I have six of them. And I'm going to pick the two favorite shades in each of this palette, put them in a little C palette, and then do a look with whatever I'm going to get. And I'm not going to try to think about making the best um, color scheme. I am just going to take my two favorite shades from each of these palettes and then do a look. So I hope this will be good and I took Menagerie because these are, you can take these out, no problems. I have a little tool for it. I of course have other brands that is also easy to like pop up the shadows, but yeah, I'm going to start with Menagerie. So I have no idea how this will go and I have no idea what kind of shades I will end up with. But I guess we just get started and I'm going to start with the first one. So the first one was the Dragon Child. This isn't available anymore. I think might some of the colors is available as singles. The palette looks like this and me and this palette we are not like super friends. But my favorite two colors in this one, I actually think it's Firefly and this flame tongue. So I'm going to pop them out and put them in my little palette. The next palette is the Feral palette that looks like this and this I actually have no idea. I do really like the greens but I also like these two colors for some reason. Oof. I almost dropped the palette. My heart skipped a beat. Whew. I actually, this might be surprising. I will take Fenris, this one, and actually this all alpha. I actually do really like this alpha color. I don't know why, but I do. The next palette is Whale Song, and here, oh, this is hard. Because I do really love kelp and plankton, but I also love fluke and pearl. I think I will take kelp and fluke. Next up is my least favorite palette, but that I actually do think is kind of okay. And it's killer pearl, and it looks like this. And okay, maybe this is the hardest palette. I have actually done one look that I really, really did love with this one. Even though it was maybe more of a neutral palette look. I think I'll take this. This antelope and this. Or this. No, it's hard. I also like this Mighty Roar. I think I'll take Mighty Roar and antelope. So far it's not like a super happy palette, but I'm going... I guess this is, that is going to change with the last two palettes. So I also have the Pestle Pop, of course. I do love the yellow because I do really like yellow. But then... I actually do like a belly slide, but I also like Flipper. Maybe we should take sun bath and flipper. But I also like cuddle and snack. I think I will take snack and flipper actually. 
And then the last one is Serenity. And here, at least no one that I really love. It looks like this, if you didn't know. And I do love this orange shimmer. And I also love this green shimmer. But I also like these colors. And I love this one. Maybe I should take the orange shimmer and the yellow shimmer because this yellow shimmer isn't like gold it's yellow and a shimmer and it's not like goldish the orange shimmer i do love my orange but also like these and this one is... i think i'll take these two so um, monarch and sunbeam and this palette <laughs> i don't know what the hell is going on with this one I will show you soon. Okay, so are you ready for a strange color story? This is what I came up with. It is kind of dull, I guess. But I don't know. Maybe I can do some really cool looks with this. I don't know. So, these two are from the Dragon Child, Feral. <laughs> Whale Song, Killer Pearl, Pastel Pop, and Serenity. So yeah, I guess I will just prime my eyes and try to figure out the look that I want to do with this. It feels like it can go either way. So I think I have come to a decision what I want to do. And um, I guess we just get started. And I'm going to do... I of course want to use this orange, so I'm going to take this one that was Mighty Roar from Killer Pearl, I guess, Monarch from Serenity, and I think this one, I can't remember the name, Belly Slide, I don't know, from Pestle Pop. I think I'll take those, I don't know how this is going to look, and I don't know if this is going to be fun. Or maybe I want to do something completely different. I don't know. No, I'm going to go with this. And I was sitting here and was like, okay, do I want to do something crazy and some really thing and something really like out there? But then I'm like, no, I think I should stop trying so hard all the time and just do things that I want to do and not think about it. That it has to be fun, it has to be bright, it has to be super grungy. I think I'm just going to do what I feel like. Okay, I don't know if this was the best crease shade. I actually thought that the palette was going to be more, more like fun than this. But it's a lot of greens, so I guess I do really like my <laughs> greens from Menagerie. And it's only four shimmers. And this is a thing that I really want to be better at, like playing with different palettes. I think I'm better at it now when I have had my no buy than I was before but I want to be even better and I hope that you think this is kind of fun at least and maybe if you like it I maybe can try to do more either maybe do more looks with this palette or just using other like trying others other things in my collection. Okay, now I'm going in with this mitre war and what I can remember this is really dark. And it's now I am questioning my choice of my crease shade a little bit more. I don't know if I maybe want to go in with this in my crease as well. Because I'm going to cut my crease later on. Okay, this brush isn't like super good to smudge in your crease. This brush and you know like uh, what it's time for for me <laughs> cleaning my brushes this is an old brush from H&M do you remember when they redid their whole makeup like H&M beauty that was such a big thing 
in Sweden. But I guess that we all are a little bit proud in Sweden that H&M is from Sweden. I don't know if the pink did that much, but it's going to stay there. Now I'm taking it in my crease first. And I'm doing this a little bit messy because I am going to cut my crease and try to minimize <laughs> the glitters on my face, hopefully. So I'm going in with my glitter primer from NYX and then I am going to take this orange shimmer. I do really love that shade. I don't know how, but I always like succeed with having too much stuff on my table, like all the time. I usually am kind of good of cleaning it after I am done filming, but then I'm just taking a lot of things and put them on my table and then it's full again. So I'm, I'm I usually have a mirror a little bit closer when I'm doing this. I usually have a little bit of a smaller brush to do this with. I'm going to take the orange shimmer. I have cat hair on this brush. But who am I? Trying it to a fool. I have cat hair on everything all the time. Do you see this orange? This is such a cool shade. I do really, really love this one. I don't have that many orange shimmers in my collection. And I do love orange eyeshadow. If you didn't know, it's one of my favorite shades. And I wasn't disappointed <laughs> this shade at all. I think it's really fun shade. And it's really like... I don't know. I do just love it. And I do think that this looks really good. This orange is like doing it all for me. I love it. But together with this Major War, I think they did complete each other really, really good. So I am guess we are cutting this little crease as well. I think that maybe all of the shades that I've picked out would have looked really good to this. Like all of the shimmers, like the yellow shimmer would have looked great and I think that the green would also have looked good and also the more goldish shimmer. Okay, I'm really really satisfied with this. I think it looks really really good. So I am going to uh, do my base, do my under eyes. I think I might just go in with the pink and uh, this dark shade. And maybe take some orange on my waterline so it connects everything. So yeah, I will fix the rest of my makeup and then I come back. The look is done for my face. I did use Ombra, Buskill from Melt and Ozone from Nabla. On my waterline I did use Unz from Colourpop. And on my lips I did use something from Kaleidos. Mine doesn't have a name. It's missing the name, it's just have uh, the number or whatever, I, I don't know, but something from Kaleidos. And yeah, this is the look, I do love the orange shimmer and oops, hitting everything. And I think it works really good with this orange together with this dark one and I thought this was fun. I don't know though, I thought that the palette was going to be more fun, but I guess this is just the colors that I do like. It's a lot of <laughs> green and dark shades, but um, yeah, if you want to see more looks with this, just let me know and I will do that and I will try to do with other brands as well. I am not though going to the pot palettes, the 
that aren't departable like these Menardi shades they are man man magnetic so it's no problems and I think my 9 pen palette from Colourpop is really easy to pop out but other than that I don't want to destroy any of my palettes that I do have and I want to have them in a the palette so yeah I hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!